Welcome to Evening Prayer on this Monday, the 6th of April, 2020, the Monday of Holy Week. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory for ever. As we behold your Son enthroned on a cross, stir up in us the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you in newness of life, singing the praise of him who died for us and for our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. And the hymn for this evening, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. <clears throat> When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my riches gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should burst, save in the death of Christ my God. All the vain things that charm me most, I sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love, Blooming good down. Did ever such love and sorrow meet? O oh, thorns compose so rich a crown. His dying crimson, like a rope, spreads o'er his body on the tree. Then am I dead to all the globe, and all globe is dead to me. Were the whole realm of nature mine that were present far too small. Love so This evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. And the psalm appointed for this evening, Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame, 
Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame, but let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, for you I have hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord, therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lowly. For the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their soul shall dwell at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased, O bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery, and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Lamentations, Chapter 2. The Lord determined to lay in ruins the wall of daughter Zion. He stretched the line. He did not withhold his hand from destroying. He caused rampart and wall to lament. They languished together. Her gates have sunk into the ground. He has ruined and broken her bars. Her king and princes are among the nations, guidance is no more, and her prophets obtain no vision from the Lord. The elders of daughter Zion sit on the ground in silence. They have thrown dust on their heads and put on sackcloth. The young girls of Jerusalem have bowed their heads to the ground. My eyes are spent with weeping, my stomach churns. My bile is poured out to the ground because of the destruction of my people, because infants and babes faint in the streets of the city. They cry to their mothers, where is bread and wine? As they faint like the wounded in the streets of the city, as their life is poured out on their mother's bosom. What shall I say for you? To what compare you, O daughter Zion? For what shall I liken you, that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin, who can heal you? Your prophets have seen you, for you false and deceptive visions. They have not exposed your iniquity to restore your fortunes, but have seen oracles for you that are false and misleading. All who pass along the way clap their hands at you. They hiss and wag their heads at daughter Zion. Is this the city that was called the perfection of beauty, the joy of all the earth? All your enemies open their mouths against you. They hiss, they gnash their teeth, they cry, we have devoured her. Ah, this is the day we longed for, at last we have seen it. The Lord has done what he purposed. He has carried out his threat. 
as he ordained long ago. He has demolished without pity. He has made the enemy rejoice over you and exalted the might of your foes. Cry aloud to the Lord, O wall of daughter Zion. Let tears stream down like a torrent day and night. Give yourself no rest. No, your eyes no respite. Arise, cry out in the night, at the beginning of the watches. Pour out your heart like water before the presence of the Lord. Lift your hands to him for the lives of your children, who faint for hunger at the head of every street. Here ends the first reading. And our canticle is the song of Christ's glory. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. A reading from the letter to the Colossians, chapter 1. Christ is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that we might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. And you who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, provided that you continue securely established and steadfast in the faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of this gospel. Here ends the second reading. And the responsory. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins on his body, in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. By his wounds you have been healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God's love for us is revealed in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Magnificent. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. God's love for us is revealed in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
So we come now to our prayers of intercession. So we pray for the Church throughout the world. Our prayers are asked today, especially in the Anglican cycle of prayer, for the Diocese of Meru in Kenya, for its Bishop Charles, for the Diocese of West Malaysia in the province of Southeast Asia, for its Bishop Peng, for the Diocese of Idaho in the Episcopal Church of the United States, for its Bishop Brian. We are also asked to pray in the St. Asaph Diocese for St. Garman's Church, the Pilgrim Church in the Tanit and Vernwee Mission area, praying for its continued ministry, especially to young families. We pray for the work of this diocese, for the work of the Church throughout the world. We pray especially for Gregory, the Bishop of St. Asaph, we pray for this mission area of Wrexham, for all those who live in the town, for all those who proclaim the good news of salvation, for those who hope, hold out the hope of peace and of resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who rule the nations of the world. We give thanks for our Queen. We pray for our government, praying especially for the Prime Minister at this particular time, praying for him in his illness, praying for those around him, and praying for those who are working with the government for the good of the people of this country and for the good of people across the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are key workers in today's world, for those who continue with our food supply, for those who serve our needs, for those who work in the health service, for those who work in so many different spheres of our lives, for those who keep us safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are troubled by a sense of despair, for those who are anxious, for those who are worried. We pray for those who suffer from the coronavirus at this time, praying especially for them and for the families that support them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we remember before you, O Lord, those who have gone before us in the faith, those whose faith was known to you alone. We are asked to pray at this time for Helen, and we pray for all those who have passed away recently because of the epidemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. the collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and be made partakers of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And so, standing at the foot of the cross, we pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.